Hey guys, Rich here. Welcome back to the RC Informer YouTube channel. Got a brand new product to show you guys coming from KM Model right here in the USA. New company. This is going to be the first of uh, many electronic products coming from KM Model. So check the links in the description below uh, and that will bring you right to this all new universal center burner. You heard it right. Universal fit. Designed to fit almost any size in runner motor with two zip ties. So a lot of features on this thing. You can see right here how I have this installed with two zip ties to an FMS 70 millimeter fan with a relatively you know small motor case size. And then also here's a 90 millimeter that I did a rough fit on as well. And again, two zip ties, much larger motor. Again, any size in runner mo in runner motor this should fit thanks to these large tabs that they put on the side. So I just did a rough fit on the two of these. It's designed to be zip tied and then the ends of these kind of snipped off so it matches the size of your motor. Now you can also probably just leave them on, okay, uh, in case you want to switch it to another, you know, fan unit later. But um, it fits on really just as is. You don't really need any glue, but you could use a little bit of foam tack, which when I do a permanent install of these, which I'll do on the FMS Rafal for you guys, and I'll put the link to that in the upper right-hand corner of the screen to show you the full install and how it goes in there. Uh, I might take a little foam tack just to tack it down there to keep it on there, but you can see it's pretty secure in place without any glue at all, and I'm just blown away by the fact that this is a universal fit. It's also very lightweight as well. That's the bonus of this thing. Here's what it looks like in the package when you're going to get it, and it is literally only 16 to 20 grams of weight for the entire package. That includes, you know, the nylon resin plastic area here, um, you know, your LED um, 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 array here, but this doesn't have any glass around. It literally has a lightweight, you know, just clear heat shrink tubing around it, which you want to be careful running it when you're running it, uh, you know, static on the ground. As long as you've got airflow over, you're okay to run it because it'll keep it cool. But the entire package, which is the burner, you know, the little PC board and your wiring, 16 to 20 grams and that's it. So I'm going to be showing you guys a factory version, not a full on production version. And the difference will be that the production version is going to have uh, tabs that you can, um, uh, plug-ins that you can plug and unplug from the PC board where mine is glued in for, or just actually soldered in directly from the factory. So it'll be easier to run the wires from front to back, but you're looking at universal fit, lightweight design, inexpensive. There's going to be a special introductory price, so click on the link below to check it out. Um, and then um, also a very small footprint. As you can see, again, it doesn't block any of the cooling holes, really. All those are still open. It's nice and thin. You don't have an apparatus to wrap around your motor that kind of can heat it up, block up you know, all the cooling, and then also adds a lot of space, and it also adds a lot of length. Sometimes, sometimes um, those, you know, some of the other fan unit or, or uh, uh, LED units out there are really long. This has a short footprint, which is going to be really great for bifurcated ducts, just like the FMS Rafal, where you basically have a single, you know, uh, uh, ducting that goes into two, and you have a bifurcation right in the middle that often can hit this thing. And hopefully, there'll be no trimming or minimal trimming because this thing is just so short. That's what's awesome about it. Um, it's an easy calibration. Um, again, um, no interference. Here's another thing. No interference at all from the ESC because your plug-in that goes into your receiver doesn't draw power off the receiver. It only gets power off of your balance port for, the, uh, for lighting up the burner. So Now this is what it looks like. I'll give you a quick look of what this looks like coming out of the bag and show you how simple you know, this thing is. It comes with a little instruction book. It actually comes with two zip ties that I actually don't have in the package here because I actually used them to put those two on. But there'll be a couple zip ties that comes with it to help you get it on. But this is this is it, folks. You've got your center burner, again, made of nylon resin. So it's a real tough material that you can cut to length after you, you know, zip tie it to your, to your motor. It has this very, you know, lightweight um, clear heat shrink wrap around it and then the wire runs to a PC board which again I'll throw that picture up here where what it, what it is is you'll have with the production version um, there will be two um, plug-ins I think on both ends of this PC board so you don't have to run all of this you know through your fuselage to get it in there you'll be able to unplug it and get a small connector through and then get it all plugged in and you can see here's your power wire 
power wire doesn't have, um, or your, your, I say your throttle wire, I should say, it doesn't have a center wire, so it's not drawing power from your uh, receiver. It's not going to mess up receiver. It's not going to mess up your receiver signal or throttle or any issues with that. It only takes, you know, 12 volts off of three of the cells. So, very simple setup, as you can see. Super lightweight. That's it, guys. Just installing that. So, stay tuned for the full install. I will have that in the upper right-hand corner of the screen. And in the meantime, I have this all rigged up for everybody already. Okay, with a. Uh, just with a servo tester. So you can see at idle, you even get some light and it's a pulsing light, a light burning, which for me is awesome because even at low throttle, I like to see some light coming out of the tail. And at an idle light, this is cool because sometimes you just don't see any light until you get to half throttle with some burners or quarter throttle or something. But this one lights up, you know, really from the get go. So what I'll do is I'm gonna throttle this up just a little bit. I'll increase the throttle. You can see it starts to flicker brighter with your throttle movement and then it gets to a sort of a full bright, and we'll see what it does at full throttle. It seems to kind of flicker at a high end, and that may or may not do it when the throttle, uh, you know, when you're actually running it from the radio, from the actual throttle, uh, once you have it set up. But super nice burner, folks. I gotta tell you, I'm impressed. I can't wait to get this in a bunch of my models. Again, universal fit, lightweight, inexpensive, easy to install with zip ties, small footprint both sideways and lengthwise, easy calibration and no interference from the ESC. So I got to hand it to the guys at uh, KM Models. Again, this is the first of many products they're going to have out. So again, check out the links in the description below and stay tuned because I am going to do a full install. It's going to be pretty simple and I will put a link to that video in the Rafal in the upper right hand corner of the screen and any future videos I add, you know, relating to this afterburner install, I will put links to that in the upper right hand corner of the screen. So once again, guys, Check this out in the links below at KM Models. Um, it's an awesome burner. Any th links that you click on below our videos uh, and use to purchase that supports the channel at no cost to you guys. So we really appreciate it. As always, please like and subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell, hit that like. And uh, we really appreciate you guys coming by. KM Models, universal center burner. Check it out. Thanks for watching, guys. As always, we'll see you all next time.